In 1876, James McNeil Whistler, an American artist living in London, was invited by his friend and patron Frederick Leyland, a shipping magnate from Liverpool, to suggest a color scheme for the woodwork of his dining room, which had been decorated by the architect Thomas Jekyll. While Leyland and his family were away for the summer, Whistler's imagination took flight. Promising his patron a gorgeous surprise, he completely transformed the room covering nearly every inch with brilliant blue and gold patterns derived from the plumage of peacocks. Like the peacock room, Filthy Lucre is a total work of art. Every surface is encrusted with gold or dripping with paint. Gilded stalactites hang from surfaces. Splintered shelves buckle and tilt. Brightly colored ceramics drip with glaze or shatter, their debris littering the floor. An eerie glow seeps between the shutters, while a haunting soundscape by the band Betty emanates from the walls. When Leyland saw the peacock room for the first time, his reaction was not what Whistler had expected. Leyland thought Whistler had taken egregious liberties, and he refused to pay the artist his full fee. Whistler, devastated by Leyland's lack of appreciation, responded by painting a vengeful mural on the south wall of the room. Pointedly titled Art and Money, it depicts the painter and patron as fighting peacocks. In Waterston's Filthy Lucre, a title that alludes to Whistler's own allegorical painting, the fighting peacocks elegantly posturing in Whistler's art and money have turned gruesomely violent as they eviscerate each other in Waterston's version. Despite its sagging shelves and discordant images, Filthy Lucre is exquisitely crafted and meticulously finished. Despite Whistler and Leyland's broken friendship, Leyland continued to dine in Whistler's Peacock Room, which was quickly recognized by the Victorian art world as a masterpiece of aesthetic decoration. Some years after Leyland's death in 1892, museum founder Charles Lang Freer purchased the room and reinstalled it in his Detroit mansion, where he filled its shelves with his own array of Asian pottery. It was reassembled in the Freer Gallery of Art in 1920, and has been on permanent display since the museum opened to the public in 1923. Waterston created Filthy Lucre between July 2013 and March 2014 during a nine-month residency at Mass Mocha in North Adams, Massachusetts. A significant work in its own right, Filthy Lucre demonstrates the enduring influence of Whistler's masterpiece on subsequent generations of artists. As one of the great treasures of the Freer Gallery, the Peacock Room has been carefully preserved for future generations of museum goers. Its complicated story of art, money, and animosity have been absorbed into a more decorous story of the beautiful, as Whistler would have described it. Darren Waterston's filthy lucre suggests what might ultimately have become of the Peacock Room if it had not been acquired by Freer and cared for in a museum.